Welcome back, everybody. Here is another episode of Mr. Marcus's Math or Math with Marcus. We are doing problem 470, so chapter 4, problem 70 from the CPM curriculum, course 1, 6th grade style. Um, and here we go. So on graph paper, which we have, draw any quadrilateral. That is a quad means 4 and lat means side. So draw any four-sided figure, then enlarge or reduce it by each of the following ratios. So I'm going to do um, one of each, and I'm going to do a couple different ways to do it. So if we have this ratio and we want to enlarge or reduce it, um, what we're doing is if we want to make it bigger, well, we're multiplying our side lengths by the version of this fraction that would make it larger. So in, if this, fra as a fraction, if this ratio as a fraction is greater than 1, if we simplified 4 over 1 or 4 to 1 as a fraction, would that be more than 1? Yes, it would. So if we multiply it by, um, if we use that as a multiplier, it is going to have the effect of making it larger um, in this type of ratio right here. So if if we did that, we would get a new figure, um, and our new figure would have a, a vertical length of whatever, uh, 2 over 1 times 4 over 1 would be, that is 8 over 1 or 8. So 8 units would be the vertical, uh, the length here, 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units. And the width here um, would be what the product is of multiplying 3 by our, by our enlargement ratio. Um, 3 times 4. 3 times 4 would be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, um, and here is 12. Now, here's a cool way of thinking about it. This is the original shape. So you can always do that. That will work. If you want to enlarge a shape, you can multiply it by the ratio um, that is larger than 1. 4 over 1 is larger than 1. If we wanted to reduce it, we'll do that in blue. I would mul you can divide it by that ratio. I'm going to choose to multiply it by the inverse, by the ratio that would be less than 1. If we multiply something by a fraction less than 1, where it's going to get smaller. So instead of multiplying by 4 over 1, I'm going to multiply it by 1 over 4. And that's going to make this smaller. So if I did this here, I would, um, this would simplify down to 2 fourths. So my reduction here, so this width here would be 2 fourths or 1 half. So 1 half would be the length here. So that's 1 half of a unit. Doesn't look too good, but that's what it would be. So if we, if we reduced it, by a ratio of 1 to 4, it would go from being 2 units long to just being half a unit. We cut it into fourths, so we cut it one fourth the size. Uh, so that's one half of a unit, and then what about this? So put that over 1, um, that would be 3 fourths of a unit. So here was one half, that is 3 fourths. So there's our shape that was reduced using that multiplier method. So if you want to make it larger, multiply it by the form of the ratio. That would make it bigger. If you want to make it smaller, multiply it by the form of this ratio, whether it's the one on the top and the four on the bottom, that would make, um, that would cause a product to be smaller than it was originally. So those are our two shapes. Smaller, the reduction of this ratio, a 2 by 3, turns into a 1 half by 3 fourths. 
Um, and if I wanted to make it larger, a 2 by 3 turns into an 8 by 12. All right, let's do the second one. And actually, I want to show you actually something pretty cool. If you take this enlargement ratio here, um, for every one unit, this the smaller number is our original one. And the four units talk about the enlargement. The enlargement. So for every one unit of the original, so I'm just going to circle those. So for every one unit, so there's one, one unit here, and here is another group of one. So for every one, there must be four over here. So see how there's two groups of one, one and one make two. There better be that same amount of groups of four here. For every one, there better be a four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Hey, oh, what do you know? Pretty cool. I kind of like this one as well. So for every one, for every one unit here, there better be four here. So how many one units do we have? We have a unit of one. We have another unit of one and another unit or another group of one. So we have three groups of one, that's one, one, and one makes three. I better have three groups of four. I better have this many groups of four. For every one, we need four here. This is making sense, good for you. Um, one, two, three, four, here's a group of four. One, two, three, four, here is another group of four. And one, two, three, four. Here is another group of four. And what do you know? What is that? That is 12. So another way to look at the ratios like that. All right, let's do one that um, we're enlarging or reducing um, to seven halves. So let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's make this one. So let's make this quadrilateral uh, another kind of boring one. We're going to do a 2 by 4 this time. And if, uh, if I want to enlarge it, let's use that multiplying way. I could say, well, let's multiply it um, by the form of this ratio that would make uh, these numbers larger. So if I multiply it by 7 halves, that is in fact larger than one as a fraction, so that would in fact lead us to a larger figure. So if we put this over one so we can multiply, we would get my, my length here, I'm just gonna sketch it out and then redraw it. Um, four times seven is 28, and one times two is two, so this would get us uh, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So let's draw out 14 units here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 units long. And let's multiply this one. And we would get um, 7 times 2 is 14, and 1 times 2 is 2, and 14 halves makes 7. Hopefully I left enough room. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wowza. Just enough. All right. So this guy became a 7 by 14. All right, um, and let's take a look. Let's take a look at that again. So how does this make sense? So for the smaller one, the original guy must be the smaller one. Original must be the two. The seven must be the enlargement because it's larger than the two. Um, so for every 
two units of the original. So for every group of two, I need a group of seven in the enlargement. So how many groups of two do I have here? Well, I've got one group of two, and I've got another group of two. That makes four. So how many groups of seven am I going to need along the bottom here? I'm going to need the same amount. I'm going to need one group, two groups of seven. For every two, there is a seven. For every two here, there is a seven here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's do it going along this way. So how many for every group of two that I have? I've got one group of two. I better have that same number of groups of seven. One group of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two groups of two two groups of seven. One group of two, one group of seven. That is that ratio there. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.